Yo, hello traders, it's your one and only Forest Q coach, Tim Legend, and I'm super excited having you all here today on this. All right, if this is your first time on my channel, could you do me a favor? Smash the subscribe button and turn the bell on so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever I release a new content. Because right here in this channel, all I do is to post contents that help you win in the financial market, all right? So uh, if you watched my previous video on how to catch sniper entries like a pro, using the sell limit strategy you would observe that uh it's a wonderful strategy and uh is what i'm still using and uh, i used it to drop a signal yesterday and also today which currently the trade is currently moving in progress all right so we just want to be pa a bit patient to see how it goes so let me just give you a, a view of how it all started So this was yesterday's trade. All right, I dropped the signal, the sell limits in telling traders that I just placed a sell limit on, on VIX 75 at 59.5906.92, all right? And then I'm risking $5 on each position because once, once I place my sell limits, I always wanna make sure that I calculate my stop loss, making sure that I don't lose more than what I expect to lose, you get? So after that, the next thing, the trade got triggered and we were heading for TP1. So today I've just dropped another signal. This was when price was still on its way coming. And I said, look, I've placed a trade. I, I just placed a sell limits on V75 at 6051.01.78 and I'm risking $5 on each position. And now the trade has just been triggered. So we actually expecting to take a, a tp1 at uh 5974 59.77 so that's what you can see currently that price is still playing around our entry zone so we're expecting price to actually rally to the downside to hit our tp1 from there we can we, we will look forward to going for to tp2 somewhere below so what's the strategy like i told you guys I use a very simple strategy. My strategy is not complicated and that's what support and resistance. You just want to mark out those zones where price got supported from or got resisted from. That's all you want to do. That's just all you want to do. You, when you mark the zones out, you want to look forward to placing your trades, looking for a selling opportunity from your resistance zone, looking for your buying opportunity from your support zone and that's just how it goes traders that's just how it goes if you observe you notice i also have my trend line okay so i also use the trend line and you all should also know the trend line strategy which i've taught you guys before your trend line strategy whenever you have a first torch a second torch you always you always want to look forward to placing a trade from the third touch okay but i wasn't actually online when price came to my third touch if not i should have taken that buy signal because why not just that is at a third touch of my trend line you would also observe that is also at my support level so having this support uh horizontal line plus my trend line that's too confluence for me to uh confidently place my buying position all right but i wasn't online then i else i would have dropped the signal also you want to make sure you join us on telegram so that you don't miss out any of my signals okay our telegram handle is on the screen right now at the bullish bear fx you want to make sure you search for us on telegram and join us all right why we all keep winning together so traders that's a simple thing just plot out your support and resistance i've taught you guys already how to plot your support and resistance plot it out and wait for trades at your zones that's just all you need to do wait for trades at your zones and also don't get it twisted not every trade is 100 percent. sometimes trade can go against you you know you, you just get to observe that i have these zones here i have this resistance here i have this resistance here so price was coming and i placed my first sell limit here which has just been triggered and price is actually going in favor for the meantime now the thing is if it ends up not going in our favor I know the next zone I want to place a trade from, which is here, all right? So as a trader, you always want to make sure you don't just have a plan A. You want to make sure you have a plan A and also a plan B, all right? So if it goes wrong here, this is where I want to get it right. That's what makes you a trader. Don't just trade blindly. Know what you are doing in the markets. Very, very crucial traders, okay? Very crucial. 
so right now we're still uh, hoping that this price goes in our favor and probably hits our tp1 and then we would likely likely head for tp2 to the lower side once again please make sure to hit the subscribe button if this is your first time on this channel and don't forget to hit the like button the like button actually enables us know that you really love what we're doing and we should keep doing more and don't forget to join us on telegram and i'll see you on the next video